This is Twit. He's been everywhere. He's our travel guru, Johnny Jet at johnnyjet.com. Get his newsletter. Follow him on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, on YouTube, too. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Leo. Have you been anywhere since we talked last? No, un- unfortunately, I have not. I've, I've actually really pulled back on my travel, and especially when I, my dad was just diagnosed with COVID. Um, my sister called me the other day and said that the Russian dad to the hospital. I said, for what? They're like, he, he thinks so the thing is a urinary tract infection. I dad said, has right. uh, the va- took the vaccine, right? He did. He got it in February in Florida, so he got it early. So maybe it's wearing off. He's ninety. That's what I think. How old is he? Almost ninety three. Ninety three. So this so is she serious, could- obviously. Well, yeah, then she called me. She's like, Dad just tested positive for COVID. And I was like, I just dropped the phone. How did he? I was like, what? Yeah, no kidding. He avoided it for a year and a half. Um, yeah. How well, he did goes he, to Connecticut. And he and got he it got in Connecticut. It, he got it in Connecticut. And we don't know how he got it. We don't, but he's been, he's been, he's been pretty careful. And everyone, he was in a, in a nursing home for a little bit in Connecticut, but they tested everyone and everyone came back negative. My cousins that visited him just got tested. They came back negative. So we just don't know. We don't know. That happens, and, you know. Um, 27 no. folks on a Carnival cruise ship. Yeah. Co- COVID-19. The, the, um, the, the good news, I spoke to my dad today. He sounded so much better than he did two days ago. Oh, but good. So he was really out of did it. Did they give him and, oxygen or did... Uh, he had a little bit of oxygen. They, okay. they, didn't, they didn't put a... Uh, they didn't have to ventilate him. They didn't him. intubate him or anything. Good, but, um, good, good. He didn't have oxygen on his nose when I just spoke to him on FaceTime, and uh, he's cracking jokes. Yeah, he he had symptoms, but whoever gave it to him probably didn't. That's one of the reasons we wear masks still. And the nurse says that you know because he was vaccinated, he 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 should be okay. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. I mean, even at ninety three, that's amazing. 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 I mean, listen, I I honestly thought it was a death sentence. I so I do have some tips, by the way, when people get bad news like this or. You know, if they have to drop everything. So, you know, my first reaction was like, I should get out. I'm get flying out. Go see him. I'm but then I was out. like, yeah. do I really want to go to a hospital where someone, where I know someone has COVID? But, you know, if it was, I thought, I honestly thought this was it. And I, I wanted to at least say, say goodbye to my dad. Oh, my God, Johnny. And I, I, I just thought, you know, if I had, if I just had to wear full PPE and just go in and just give him a quick hug and tell him how much I love him. I, I was I was willing to do that, and that, but then I had to come home. I have two little kids. And I have to quarantine. This is one of the and, side uh, effects of this uh, new wave: uh, is you can't visit in the hospital, even if your loved ones aren't suffering from COVID. But if they're in hospital for other reasons, uh, Lisa has a family member who got very very sick, and no one could go in so, right. e- because of COVID protocols, which are appropriate. But it's very sad sure. if you can't say goodbye in person. It's for very sure. sad. So the first thing I did was get online and book a flight. So, you know, a couple of my tips today are, you know, always keep some miles in the bank. I know, you know, I, I, I'm one of the people that preach and most travel experts do, you know, don't save your miles because they they don't gain value. They're not like money in a bank. So I always keep some miles in an account. That way, if for emergencies like this, you know, I wasn't going to fly coach and I was going to fly first class, lie flat seat. And if, a lot of times if you wait to the last minute, you can find really good deals. And out of L.A. right now, I'm, I'm in L.A. My dad's in Connecticut, which is right outside New York City. You can fly between uh, Orange County Airport, SNA, to JFK for if you do last minute for 37,000 miles on a lie flat seat. That seat is normally 130,000. And if you price it out today for like next week, it will probably show 130,000. But if you wait till the day before or that morning, it will show 37,000 lately. And, and, and also if you wanted to fly coach, you could fly for 15,000, which is normally 30,000. So and I thought these awards travel were so restricted that it wouldn't be that useful. No, you know, you know, because of COVID, the airlines really opened up a lot of inventory. Oh. So I have 139,000 miles on United. I should probably use, or maybe I shouldn't yeah. use them. You're saying well, keep uh, them. But, you know, th- this was American Airlines. And, and American put, by the way, one good flight a day between uh, Orange County and L.A. They used to have so many flights between L.A. and New York, that, but no one's taking them. So they took some of the aircraft, which was an A321T, as in Tom. And put it on that, and it has three classes. And the business and first have lie flat seats. It's a plush airline. All the airlines spend a lot of money um, between New York and L.A. Yeah. and New York and San that's Francisco because that's, that's big, where all the money is. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but there are some sweet spots like this. So, 
you know, if you do have to fly, especially last minute, it's nice to have some miles. And what I love about American is you can put it on hold and even and, and, and then decide. Um, the other ones you can put on hold, but you have to um, usually pay. And then you have 24 hours, except for last minute tickets, although Americans are letting you do this lately. Um, so I hope I don't ruin it for everybody. <laughs> but. You know, I just when I spoke to my dad, he was like, you know, we're on FaceTime. He goes, this comp- this phone is just amazing. He's like, he's in a room. He's so lonely, but you know, speaking to him, oh, and he dad. was just like, I'm so appreciative for this oh, to be able to video chat. And I'm like, Ag- agreed, it's amazing. Yeah. So, but United, you mentioned United. United doesn't have the best deals, and they they have one flight a day or two to JFK because they stopped it for a while, and they fly to Newark. And theirs have been showing up at 60000 lately. We flew so, Pol- Polaris uh, to Hawaii, and it was quite nice, lie flat and all that. Oh, yeah. so th- that's, yeah. my, uh, my, that's my next tip, by the way. So, you know, not all aircrafts or airlines are created equal. So, you know, I just mentioned American Airlines. You know, American Airlines first class between, let's say, L.A. and Chicago is probably terrible. It, it, is, it is terrible. It's just regular... You yeah, know, you kind of want to know seat. what you're going to get. Is it just a big seat and a exactly. nicer snack? That's not worth thousands of dollars. Uh, for sure. We came home on economy from Hawaii. Lisa sprung for Polaris. I don't know why, but we she was her her deal. So I said okay, uh, but we came home on economy, and it's not that. It was fine. Um, so yeah, on the way back from Hawaii, I usually would fly uh, coach because it's, it's a only much shorter a few flight. hours, four hours. Yeah, it's four hours and fifteen minutes sometimes for four thirty. But, but going there is almost six hours, right. so it's nice to to and, splurge on the way out. And if you're going on a long flight to Asia or to Australia or whatever, it, it is expensive. But if you can get the mileage and get right. that lie flat seat, it, your your experience once you arrive is ten times better. For sure. But, but the link I just shared in the chat room, and I'll put it on my Twitter account and put it in my newsletter today, um, it just has some screenshots of why you want to make sure you look – when you book flights – you know, I, w- I did an example of L.A. to Hawaii. You know, Delta flies in Hawaiian. The prices were almost identical. Yeah. But Delta was flying a 737 with recliner seats for first class, and the, it was like five hundred dollars, and for five hundred thirty-one dollars, you could fly on Hawaiian in a lie flat seat. Yeah. So that's why you want to make sure you can see what the um, seat assignments are, or seat um, the configurations are, and you can also consult SeatGuru.com and find out the actual aircraft and what the, what the seat pitch is, which is basically the leg room. But on that one flight, you know, Delta had thirty-seven inches of leg room. The Hawaiian had 76 inches. Holy cow, that's a big So that's why I wanted to fly first class to New York, because I wanted to be far as away from everybody as possible. And on the New York flight, first class is a one and one, just the aisle and one seat and one seat. In business, it's two and two, and coach is three, three. So, you know, the less people around you, the less chances of, of catching it. And um, so anyway, those but are you, my tips. You're, you, 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 uh, boy, I, you know, we're <laughs> in two months, we're going to Mexico. Uh, and I'm very nervous about this whole thing. Uh, and then, now, of you, course, in January, we have a trip to Asia, which will, I'm thinking January, might even be canceled. Italy, Asia's not happening. I, I, I told you this a while ago. I'm sorry. It's not happening in January. We are, it's funny because this is a re, rebook of the trip we were going to take in January 20. I know. 21. I remember you asking me, you know, you think it's going to be okay in that following January? I was like, I sure hope so. But How about our Alaska like cruise it. that we're taking all of our fans on in July? That's going to be good. Is that be okay? I think, I th- I, listen, who knows? But who knows? I, 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 I do think so. Cruise.twit.tv you know, if you want to find out about it. Johnny you're vaccinated. Jett. You're fully vaccinated and don't have young kids. So, you know what? It's worth a chance. Oh, man. Johnny, JohnnyJet.com. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. It is not a risk to listen to Johnny Jet's advice <laughs> every week. Wow, I'm so, uh, so Dad's feeling a little bit better. That's good news. He's still Definitely, in the hospital. He's, he's, yeah. yeah, and I just he's like, "How long have I been here for?" I'm like, "Just oh. a few days." And he's like, oh. "I thought I'd been here for two weeks." It feels like forever. You know, there's yeah. only so much Jello you can eat before you say, "I got to get out of here." I, I was really worried. I mean, I, for, first of all, the hearing the. Um, the emergency room lost his cochlear implant. No one was with him. And he, when he can't hear, he literally turns into a different person. And How I don't blame lose him. lose that? And, and they're like, 
Oh, we, 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 he didn't have a hearing aid when he came in. I yes, go, he, he did. He definitely had one. Yes, he did. So they, it took a day for them to find it. Oh, my God. And I was God. like, a cochlear implant's about $11,000 to get oh a replacement. Oh, my God. I was like, you better find it. And um, anyway, f- fortunately, they found it, and he turned into his sweet self. So, yeah, I don't blame him. If you can't hear what's going on, you don't know. It's, it's terrible. Oh, when, especially when he has COVID. He's been disoriented. He didn't, you know. He was just. Oh, I'm glad was, your sister's there. I'm glad he was there with your sister. So that's good news. He at least has family there, right? Can she go in and see him? No. No. no they can't go in. Do no, they FaceTime or something? Yeah, we all FaceTime. So Poor dad. But anyway, you know, he's 92, almost 93. He's lived a great life. I, I, and I... Yeah, it's not it's not a tragedy if something happens to him because there's a lot of a lot of other people who don't get to live that long and he, you know if I lived in yeah. '93 and I get to see my kids grow up have kids get married you I, say I, that I, but I will be happy yeah but. no me too boy I'd be thrilled if I got that far uh, so. that's 30 more years if I get that far I'm happy I'll run out of money but I'll be happy. <laughs> That's a problem these days. Oh, and yeah. Unfortunately, that's, that's what's happening with him. Oh, I bet. So, yeah, you don't expect to be going on that long. No. <sighs> so um, it's a problem. But listen, I'm very fortunate to have my dad. And not only just have him so long, but to have such an amazing father who actually, who, you know, he never cared about money. He just cared about love. And that's what he gave us. And I and, could tell because you're so you're such a great dad yourself. You clearly were were loved as a kid. You don't have any of those weird. I, I was fortunate. We'd walk down the street, and if if it was a garbage man or a mayor, he would go and just be so proud and say, oh. "Please meet my son, my oh. kids." And he would just talk that person up like they were they, oh. they were the most important person in the world. And it didn't matter who they were. And that's what I was taught. And I and I and I and I, and I really appreciate that. And um, well, it's just amazing. It shows. I'm fortunate. You I'm very know fortunate. He's gonna be fine. He's getting better. I, he does. Thank he is. God, I mean, he had the vaccine, that. and that's what that's what the nurse said. She just yeah. She just wrote. Thank said, God, he had the vaccine. Thank God, he and, had the vaccine. And Lisa's saying, "Okay, when can we get the booster? When can we get the booster?" Because I had mine in April. Um, well, just yeah, again, a few my months dad had his him. early. Yeah, real he early. He got his in February. Yeah. Um, so I, I think that might. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but anyway. So you think I, I just want to make Singapore, sure I have some good Hong Kong, people. Vietnam, and Thailand? No way in July in January. You're probably right. Thailand's going through a very bad spell right yeah. now. It's just not going to happen. And January is just too soon. Although Singapore's talking, Singapore is talking about opening up. And well, I wonder what the COVID. cruise line's going to do. You know, this will be the second one in a row. Jeez, I'm just. I thought, you know, back when I booked it a year ago, I thought, oh, you know, my January 2022. You even said, no, that's too soon, Leo. You were right. I, I'm I, wondering I, I about wish Mexico. I was wrong. I, I want to be wrong sometimes. I don't have travel insurance for the Mexico trip because it's with friends. So I might be out on that one. All right, Johnny. We do have travel have a, insurance, of course, for the cruise. And I presume if the cruise line cancels, they'll just give us at least a credit. If they cancel, they should be giving your money back. Yeah. They That's did why last you pay time. with your credit card. Never pay with a debit yeah, card. They did last time. Pay with time. a credit card. Yeah, we pay with an and, and do it. And do it within a couple, week, yeah. two, couple months before. Yeah. Thanks, Johnny. See you later. Take care.